back in them days when we was kids. This is Lockdown. Lockdown show Tri City Zone for exclusive hip hop and on beat one L DJ Flash. Pangea Del 5 to the hour of 10 o'clock. You know what it is, your favorite show. And as we have told you before, so I was 3 6 Mafia there. Oh, cool. They want to talk. They want to say what up? Cool. And then we go right in. Oh, okay. So, put your hands together once again. Mantis is in the building. Yeah. Talking the album Still Life. Finally done. Finally done. We've been waiting. All the good folks out there in the Tri City and beyond have been waiting, and it's and it's finally here. Well, hey man, I really appreciate you waiting, and putting up with that, man. But yes, it is it is here officially. No word of a lie. It's it's here. So let's talk about the album. Sure. It's been in the making for quite some time. Yeah. So people want to know. Ten tracks. Am I am I right with it when I say ten tracks? 12, 12, 12, 11 tracks, and one will be considered an extra bonus cut. A yeah. little, yeah, a little secret. Now, most people don't know this, and then a lot of people do, uh -huh. that when it comes from, from Mantis putting together an album, a lot of the work, most of the work, is all done by Mantis. Yeah, that actually is very true. Producer and MC. Mm -hmm. Applaud that. Whereas, you know, a lot of people get an album, they'll do an album, maybe Mantis produced a cut on their album. Well, we hope, yeah. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. But of course, you did all the work yourself. Mm -hmm. for, this, for this one, I did, yeah. Maybe a little help from... Uh, a little, little Gia Delphi. And Gia on no doubt. Cuts. Oh, no, he was a huge help, man. And some wisdom. Yep. On a motivational tip. Yeah, no, no. On the real though, man, yeah, he was, he was necessary. Straight now, up. horn time. You gotta let the good folks know. Who was kind of like uh, an influence, you'd say, or what, what went into making Still Life? Wow. Like, what was in, what, what was the feel that you wanted to get on the album? Well, let me let me break it down. Actually, it's interesting because like um, this project was it was in the works, you know, frankly for for a very long time, but also in the works in very amounts like different stages. Like, I got initially a, an Ontario Arts Council grant to, yeah. to record, and I did a bunch of recording. And Third Degree, rest in peace, was still existing um, in, in Kitchener Waterloo, um, and I also did some work when I was living in Toronto. And that just kind of fell through the cracks. I wasn't really happy with what I was doing at the time. Like, I kept some of it, but it was more just kind of testing the water, you know? But I didn't have an album out of that. And so I moved back to, to Waterloo, um, you know, and then just started building on this new project. So, I mean, I almost had two records at one point, you know what I mean? I, I bet it was the, the material before I just wasn't using. You know, I'd say that the, the one song that we did keep a version of for the new record is a song, Love Music, that I did with Miranda from the Combo Mystica Miranda. Yeah. Uh, big up to them. Um, but that was the only one, you know what I mean? Out of, out of like 12, 13 songs that I recorded before. So I realistically recorded like 25 songs, but I only kept these songs, and these were recent songs, you know? So it's funny, because it was like, let's say like four years in the making, but this version that came out that I have now was maybe two years in the making, realistically. Nice. For the most part, so. It gave, gave you a lot of time to think about what you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, well, it was, it was interesting. I think, um... It's funny, like you said, Sue, when you're putting everything together yourself, I wasn't looking to other producers for beats, and I wasn't looking to a whole lot of other MCs for features, or yep. I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do with it, and, and I mean, it takes time, you know what I mean? Like, especially when you do it that way, and I mean, I mean, I, we didn't, we were working with our own budget, our own people, our own, you know what I mean? We funded everything ourselves, you know, and to do it properly, yeah, make noise for that. you know, you have to, yeah, it takes time, you know? So, did you accomplish everything you wanted with the album? I gotta ask you that question. I think so. I think so. I'm real happy with it, man. And like you know, it, it's 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 what it's what it was meant to be at that time. With that said, it, it was it was, you know, everything went to plan for this album. I'm very hungry to record now for new stuff, though. You know what yeah. I mean? Which is a good thing, though. Now you know it's what done. I mean? You're ready to go. Yeah, again. exactly. I want to, you know, I want I want to I want to branch out and do and do other things. Like I I would love to have another solo album done soon. You know what I mean? I'd like to have a collaborative album done soon. You know, I'd like to produce for a lot of artists soon. Like I think I think what I learned from this is I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't think I can afford to after this one because now I'm out there. Yeah. I can't wait. You know what I mean? I think I think I know Flash has, has been a real mentor on that too. You know, big up Flash. You know, multi-talented business entrepreneurial giant DJ Flash. I mean, like I think 
I don't know, man. You just can't wait. You know what I mean? And and so and so I think I think that's the moral of the story. But I'm very happy with this record. This record I'm extremely happy with. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Well, I would hope so. It's a good record. Hold on, that. I'd buy it if it wasn't wasn't me. I'd buy it. But it is you. I know. Are you still gonna buy it? Um, I don't even know if I if I have that <laughs> capability. I have. Technically, you bought. Two thousand of them. I did, yeah. So I think I kind of already purchased it. I'm, the, I'm, I'm the, essentially the biggest supporter of CanCon music this year. Who else bought two thousand Canadian hip hop CDs this year? You know, know what? Who did? I did. Mantis did. Right here. Belly. And yeah. Make a lot of noise. And belly. <laughs> so. You feel like playing another record? No doubt. More like twenty thousand. Sorry. No. I so see. You feel like playing another record um, off the album? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Now, before we do that, let's advise them one more time where they can find you. Live on stage, album release party. Oh, yeah. You are performing. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes, I am performing. Um, let's, gonna... let's feed them with that one real quick. Although we're going to stress it again. Okay. This Thursday. Yeah, this Thursday. Talent. Starlight, forty-seven King Street North, I believe, Uptown Waterloo, um, across from Long and McQuaid Music Store. Come check me out. It's my CD release party. Still have CD release party. Ten dollars at the door. You get a copy of the CD, which is a bargain, if you ask me. Um, True. We're doing a set. I got Fraction opening up. Um, I got live musicians on half of the set. So Sponsored it's even by more reason to come. We're doing something real creative with it. Um, I think I think the people who come out should be really, really happy. Big shout out to my boys in Ace Kincaid. They're holding me down with that. And a big shout out to my man um, Raheem at the Closet and supporting and sponsoring the event as well, man. So we're doing it. We're doing it real big, man. We're out promoting like crazy and really just trying to make this pop off. So January 22nd, it's the third, this Thursday. Uh, Uptown Waterloo Starlight. Come check me out for my CD release party. For sure, ten dollars gets you in the door with a copy of the CD. Get you a copy of the CD. Mm -hmm. yeah, we Can't got, help we got music to it. What's up? Who's playing that night? What do you mean who's playing who's that? DJing? Oh man, DJs. Wow. Okay, DJ Flash, of course. Yes. Oh, there you go. DJ Pangea, of course. Oh, there you go. DJ no, Nana. I mean, you really can't go wrong. We 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 got a great roster that night. So. Sure. And you're yeah. performing. And I'm performing. And you get the CD when you come in. Play ten dollars at the door. You no, know, you know. I mean, it really is. Bargain, really. Bargain, really. It's a bargain. So. I think it's time that we give them some more of the Still Life album. Word up, yeah. Let them know what we're talking about if they're just tuning in to their favorite show in the entire world. Of course. So, what we're going to do, I think we should play the record that you were uh, you were talking about before. Oh, sure. That was kind of something that you did before you were getting this album together. I that see. It kind of made its way onto the album. Okay. Now, that song is called... Love Music. Love Music, that's right. Mm -hmm. Featuring... Featuring Miranda. Yes, from Mystic and Miranda. Exactly. True. And you know them. They represent the tri Amen. Hey, Very yeah. well they do. So let's play that, and we'll be back talking more. Still Life, the album, no doubt. in stores on Thursday. Album release party, you gotta be there. I hope so. In the meantime, more Mantis music, right now, Lockdown Show. Yes, sir.